Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord again, dear viewer. This is the last day of our morning encounter and we want to thank God that this day is the day we will all be going into the house of God to worship him, to exalt his name, this being uh, a Sunday. And so I want to bring us an encouragement from the word of God uh, on the place of personal responsibility. On the place of personal responsibility. Uh, you know, the Bible t- speaks a lot about accountability. The Bible speaks a lot about each one of us being accounted, accountable to our actions, being accountable to our words, being accountable to how we live. That is what the Word of God encourages us. In the Bible, the Bible took, um, you know, um, Adam and Eve to give an account of their behavior. And our God is a God of accountability. Each one of us will give an account of how we live. And that demands wisdom. It's only wisdom that comes from above that can help us know how we can live in this life and live according to the pattern of that which is acceptable before God. We were looking uh, throughout this week about on the story of the virgins, uh, the ten virgins, and and today I want to look at the, an aspect of the of the uh, of the of the ten virgins uh, in the story. The Bible so talks about uh, the, the five virgins who had, uh, had extra oil and, and the five of them did not have extra oil. When the bridegroom arrived, the Bible tells us that five of them who had no oil went to those who had oil and asked them, kindly please give us some oil. Give us some oil because we don't have extra oil and uh, our lamps are going off. And the wise uh, uh, virgins told those who are not wise that yes, as much as we are willing to help you, the oil that we have may not run the whole event. And so they asked uh, the, the, those ones who did not have extra oil that the best thing you can do is just run to the market and get uh, uh, extra oil for yourselves from the market. The Bible says that those who are unwise decided to go to the market to get the oil. And while they were away, the bridegroom arrived and the, 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 the wise ones went in with the bridegroom and the, and the door was closed and the banquet began. What do we learn from that story? What we learn from this story is that, you know, each person has to take personal responsibility. We may look at those who are wise and, 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 and brand them as it seems they were selfish. They would not share their oil with those who, are, who didn't have. Yes, we may look at them in that way. But wisdom will always tell us it's not at all times that we have to share all things. There are a time whereby each one of us has to take personal responsibility. He, the, the, those who are unwise are to take the personal responsibility of getting extra oil. Because if they are to share the oil with those who are wise, just suppose uh, the bridegroom did not appear uh, in time again. Suppose an alarm had been raised and yet he delays again. And so those who are wise knew that it's important for them as much as uh, they they, they had extra oil, then they were not so sure that it would run them uh, to the end. Wisdom will always tell us that it's not over until it's over. For those who are wise, they are to wait until they get into the banquet. I pray, my beloved, today that it's not over until it's over. It's not done until that which we are set to achieve has been achieved. 
I want to pray for you that the grace of God will be so sufficient for you throughout all this journey, throughout all your waiting, as we all wait on the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us never lose heart. Let us take personal responsibility and let us walk circumspectively and in wisdom for the glory of God. The Lord bless you so much and I want to pray with us again. Our Father and God, I want to say thank you. We want to say thank you, Lord, for the wisdom that comes from above. As we have looked throughout this week, that there is a wisdom that comes from above. This wisdom will give us adequate preparation. This wisdom will caution us to live well here on earth as we await uh, your second coming, Lord. I want to pray, Father God, that above all these things that we are looking for, the goals that we have, may we have the ultimate goal of having our eyes on your second coming so that you may be found uh, prepared and waiting for your second coming, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not be weary and get to sleep and even lose heart in waiting, uh, in our waiting of you. I pray that, Lord God Almighty, may you re-energize us so that we may be found ready when you come. Bless us, Lord, for I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldorat.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.